Hi guys, uh, Inky Vapor here, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Geek Vape uh, Master Kit. Um, it's a build kit, much like the previous ones that we've seen from the likes of Coil Master, etc. Um, this one has got a little bit of difference to it. Uh, it actually comes with a burning tab, um, where and it, and a few other bits and bobs that we'll we'll look at when uh, we go down close so without any further ado we'll go down and have a quick look at this and uh, we'll come back up and I'll give you my thoughts see you in a bit okay so uh, here's the uh, up close of the Geek Vape Master kit um, it's this sort of uh, material sort of a hard shell case um, it's got this digital camo kind of uh, look on it, little rubber Geek Vape name on it. <clears throat> got little tags on the front here, the, the zips, um, and that's about it. Let me just pop this open. It's, uh, it's nice and sturdy. It's very nice and sturdy. It's a, it's a particularly uh, well-made uh, piece of kit, in my opinion. The the case itself is nice and sturdy, nice and thick um, I'll just pop this open okay we'll uh, take a look at the uh, the first section here so in here we have the uh, 521 tab um, which is uh, a burning tab so it's uh, it's got the capability um, if you see on there you've got uh, let's turn it the right way up for you you've got the uh, fire switch which uh, sorry I'll bring it up to there you've got zeros on there there's nothing on there at the minute let me just bung an atomizer on here so we can uh, see what's the what's what so uh, we've got the uh, indestructible on there now um, if I fire that it's giving me uh, and I'm reading and it's firing as you can see and then if you just put it down there it just gives you the own reading now the other thing that's good about this is you've got if it uh, if it errors it comes up with these error uh, messages which are uh, F1 is low voltage protection uh, F2 is a short circuit F3 is breaker protection and four is low resistance, so um, it's good in that respect. Um, it's a very nicely made bit of kit. It's a little bit shiny, it's a little bit sort of fingerprinty, but that's not too much of an issue. It's not like it. You're gonna be using it as a mod. You've got these two little tabs here and here at the sides here. You can see. Um, you get your thumb under there, and you've got these magnets. It's quite a, it's just a th reasonably thin and bendy piece of plastic. And then you've got the actual uh, space for the battery, with a battery uh, with a battery tab there to pull the battery out, um, and it gives you the specs in there as well, some sort of some warnings and bits and bobs there. But as you can see, it's got uh, rubberized feet, <coughs> makes for a, a very good piece of kit, in my opinion. Um, this is one of the things that really impresses me about this particular kit. Let's just get rid of that indestructible there what I like about this is the fact that this cut this this building kit comes with a burning tab right out of the right out of the gate rather than the uh, the coil master which comes with a sort of a generic bog standard uh, very cheap home reader okay so now uh, we've got a pair of needle nose pliers Fairly basic affairs, well made, nice and sturdy. Uh, got the Geek Vape logo kind of laser etched on the edge to edge there. They are a little bit dirty with a bit of machine oil, but I think you know that will come off. Um, we've got on this side, we've got some. I'm going to come to the coiling kit last. Uh, some nicely made, very sturdy uh, flat flat edged uh, wire snips nice and sharp very good and again you've got the geek vape logo in just on the engrave just on the side there <coughs> okay it comes also with 
in this little part here. The uh, elbow jointed uh, needle nose tweezers with a little protection guard so you're not jabbing your fingers. Uh, standard kind of things. And again, ceramic tweezers. Standard sort of fair. Geek Vape logo again is in laser etched on the end there. All good stuff, just your normal kind of stuff. Um, in this little camo pocket here, we've got we've got space for you know you can put spools of wire and stuff like that in there. But in this tiny little pocket part up the top here, you've got a pair of scissors which just pull out and then fold away. Um, they're nice and sturdy again. Everything in here seems to be very well made. Uh, they're nice and sharp. They fold up nice and ni nice and tidy, and away they go in there. The other thing you've got in here as well <coughs> is you've got a bit of Velcro. Excuse my clearing my throat. I have got a bit of a cough coming on. We've got a, a Velcro strip on the edge here, and then there's like a secret compartment or a, another compartment, so you can you can put like I'm planning on putting. Uh, bits of Muji in there and stuff just to keep them out of the way. Right so last but not least we're going to have a look at the coiling jig. Now it's a uh, it's a similar kind of design to to the uh, coil master coiling jig but this one um, is slightly different. Um, the V2 uh, coil master kit came with a like a rubber bung with the with the um, the jigs in it but this actually comes with the part of the actual coiling rod in the center as well so just pop that out and as you can see uh, up the top here we've got like a square hole and then you've got two little holes and two little corresponding holes there here and here so again you can li like the uh, v3 coil master you can do uh, either clockwise or anti-clockwise coils depending on what, what what's required for the atomizer that you're building for so that's great, but if you notice, this has got a square end to it. So it's it's, it's slightly different to the to the coilmaster. What I'll do is I'll just uh, let's just grab the three mil. So you've got these little rods. Oh, can, on the end there, you can see that's got th three point zero on there. So this is the three mil rod, and you literally just pop it into that little square, and then it's it's in place. It's it's held with with a magnet. Job done. There's no having to screw the top off, frig about trying to find the right one and then screw it back on again. It's all there. So sizes, you have got a point a 1.5 uh, millimeter rod, a two millimeter rod, a 2.25, a 2.5, uh, a 2.75, a three millimeter rod, a 3.5 millimeter rod, and a four millimeter rod. So you've got pretty much every kind of size that you could possibly want um, included in this. And uh, so these are what the, the, the jig heads look like. So if we again take, take the three out again and pop it in the end, you then look for your three. There's a little tight in here. Let's just use this to pie it up there we go um yeah the neoprene sort of stuff that this is uh, mounted in is quite stiff so it, it sometimes takes a bit of getting out getting stuff out but i'd rather they were tight in there than loose and rattling around so um like like your core master again you you just you know put your wire through turn away amount of, t amount of uh, wraps that you want to do on your coil the thing that i do like about this though is that the center piece there is actually is actually um, got like a, a sleeve in it, so it's a, it's it's nice, nicely finished, and the little uh, hex grub screw that actually captures the wire on the end there is very well machined, and uh, I've not had the issues that I've had with some of the finer wires um, with my V3 Coilmaster uh, jig um, when I'm trying to coil with a 28 gauge on these. It's very difficult for this this little this little screw to actually catch that kind of thin wire, even on the the close to setting. But uh, 
this has not had any issues at all with that I, and uh, I am very impressed with uh, just the general build quality and the feel of this these rods are great as well because they're easy to pop out so you can just like build your coil tidy it up on there and then just have it on there and use this rod to actually place your build onto the uh, onto the build deck of the atomizer so as I say we've got all the different sizes there all popped into this nice little presentation part here so you can see exactly what you need and where, you, where, where it is when you want it and just pop that back now the other end of this is the other clever thing about this uh, coiling jig there's another hole it's a hexagonal hole if you can see it there and what we've got here is we've got a selection of uh, screwdriver bits which I'll just pop out in there on the rubber so we have got two uh, Phillips head screwdrivers a 1.5 mil uh, which is one of the most common used on uh, RDA decks a 1.5 mil uh, Allen head and a flat head and basically all you do is you just pop them into the end of there again nicely magnetic that's not coming off as you can see unless you want it to um, and you've got a screwdriver as well so I think it's uh, it's really clever in the fact that it's it's sort of it's doubled up um, and saved some space inside the inside the uh, the case itself uh, without having to have you know a load of different screwdrivers or one of those multi-head screwdrivers so yeah, it's uh, sort of economical in its uh, use of space, and it's just a really clever idea, I think. All of it, um, I don't know if you can if it's coming across on the camera, but all of the stuff in this kit is exceptionally well made, and I think really for the price, um, it's just it's just a, a great little bit of kit and a great accessory for anybody who's into building. Um, I'll compare it in size when we go up top. I'll show you the because we're a bit close up on the uh, close up cam here. I'll uh, I'll hold up the uh, the Coilmaster uh, V1 kit. I didn't get the V2 kit, but the V1 kit, so that you can actually see the the difference in this at the actual size of the cases. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's not a great deal. So uh, I'll just pop this closed. Zip the bugger up. excuse my voice it's a bit croaky because I've got a bit of a chest chesty cough I think coming or a bit of a cough anyway just a quick slurp okay so that is the coil master 521 sorry the geek vape master kit 521 tab included we'll uh, go back up top and uh, I'll sum up my thoughts about it. I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back up top, guys. Um, as you probably heard in the uh, up close and uh, maybe able to detect in my voice, I've got a bit of a cold coming on or a bit of a chesty cough kind of thing starting to develop. So if I sound a bit croaky or a bit more gruff than I normally do, I apologise. Um, I'm vaping some boiler water to try and uh, stave it off a bit. Okay, so the master kit by uh, geek vape what do i think i actually as you probably tell could tell from the up close i'm really impressed with this thing it's um it's really well made it's i i honestly think that the tools and all the pieces of kit that are in here are an actual improvement on on the coil master one um digital camo yeah it's neither here nor there it's a bit overdone for my liking to to be honest um but I guess it's, it, it makes a change from everything being black. Um, I'll just, uh, I said in the, uh, in the up close that I would show you what the, the difference on the size of the two is. And if I can find the original, uh, my um, coil master, this is the V1 coil master kit uh, that I got a while back now. And so that's the, the Geek Rate one, and this is the coil master one. So there, there is a bit of a size difference, but in sort of a little bit thicker a little bit bigger but it's actually you know it's not 
it's not worlds apart you know it's a little bit longer maybe a touch thicker um, and it's about the same kind of width just a little bit wider but considering the amount of stuff that they've managed to actually fit in here including the the tab the burning tab rather than one of those um, cheap sort of generic uh, home readers I think that this is extremely good value for money um, now I got this from my pack for and it, they're selling it for thirty nine ninety nine, um, and I think that's a bargain really. When you think that the actual burning tab itself is is round about twenty twenty to twenty five pounds, I believe, um, to get all the rest of the stuff for another fifteen quid, fifteen to twenty pounds, I think that's a bit of a bargain really. Um, it's very well made. If you've already got the if you've already got the Coil Master V2 and you have a burning tab, then maybe it's you know it's not necessarily something that you want to get. But if you are in the market for um, a builder's kit, um, you go you could go a lot worse than getting this one. To be perfectly honest with you, I have to say that as soon as I saw this I was very intrigued and I wanted to uh, get one uh, to review I've not seen many reviews for it so I thought I'd get it I'd get it and ha um, have a look at it for you guys like I say if you're in the market for uh, a building kit give this one a go I really do think that Geek Vapor are doing exceptionally well with their products um, I've had the the Griffin which I really enjoyed uh, the avocado, which although it had uh, some issues, is is still a, a a cool little tank as far as I'm concerned. And this is is another really cool product. Now, um, there's there's something that I forgot to mention in the up close about the burning tab. The burning tab with this one has actually got quite a long 510 uh, screw in it, so you, it actually uh, takes. All the all the RDAs that I've got, like the the Dog Three, which has got a huge, great big, long 510 pin. This they all sit flush on this. There's no there's no resistance to it at all. There's you know they're really really uh, it is a nice deep 510 on here. So you're not having any any issues where you're cranking it down and and uh, possibly damaging that uh, floating 510 in there. Um, oh sorry, I should say spring loaded 510 in there. It's it's a great piece of kit and I'm going to keep keep on saying the same thing over and over again if I'm not careful just have a quick swig yeah this mug is that big that is. Um, right so we'll leave it there um, hopefully I'll have some more reviews up for you soon um, looking at the the Hasta V2 RDA from Cthulhu Mods uh, probably next and that will probably be closely followed by uh, the Ice Cubed by Watofo but uh, obviously depending on how bad this uh, this tickly cough develops uh, in the next couple of days as to how soon those, those get done anyway if you've enjoyed what you've seen please click like and uh, if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button remember I'm also on Facebook <coughs> under Inky Vapor and on Instagram under in at Inky underscore Vapor um, so you can catch me there ask me any questions see my my uh, photos that I tend to post most th most most days I post at least something um, and the other thing to remember as well is every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. GMT. Um, I'm on the Vapors Worldwide uh, vaping show with uh, Ashley and Jamie. Um, so pop along and have a look at that. That's a live show, about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on uh, um, how much we waffle on about stuff. But basically, it's just a, a chat show uh, environment, you know, where we talk about vaping, vaping news, kit 
what we've had in the post, all that kind of good stuff. So I uh, hope to see you there as well. Um, until the next video, I shall uh, say goodbye and thanks very much for watching. Bye.